Rocky Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Out of This World, Chapter 3. When we last saw Rocky, he and Professor Mayberry made their escape from a prison cave on the planet Regalio with the help of Biff. Juliandra had come to Regalio to bargain with the Nizam, who planned to draw Earth off its orbit and destroy the planet by means of a powerful magnetic force. When the Nizam tried to trick her, Juliandra outwitted him and was joined by Rocky. They are able to get to Juliandra's spaceship, eluding the pursuit of the Nizam's guards. The spaceship blasts off from the enemy planet Regalio and is approaching Herculon for a landing. I'll have to continue working, Rocky, if we're to find an answer to this menace from Regalio. You may use our laboratories, Professor. The control base just reported that Secretary Drake's on his way to Herculon. Good. Then we'll be able to consult with him. Juliandra has just now returned to Herculean. I'll tell her you want to see her. Perhaps I'll tell her myself. <laughs> Yeah, Bean and Biff took off of the wishing well. Biff always goes there after every flight. I think he keeps wishing for a spaceship of his own. <laughs> well, don't you have anything to wish for, Bobby? Oh, sure. But my wishes never come true. I've given up. Bobby, this magic ring will unlock many secrets for you. What does it do? Will you wear it and find out? Thanks, Juliandra. I have to show this to Veen and Biff. Right on. Professor Mayberry will be using our laboratories. You will instruct our technicians to cooperate in every way possible. Yes, my suzerain. you excuse me, Rocky. Professor, I must speak to Steve. If you don't mind, Juliandra, we'll wait here until Secretary Drake arrives. Of course. have a pleasant greeting for your sister. Where is Theba? You haven't told me when I am to be freed from my prison room. I've told you this can never be. You want to keep me from my rightful place as suzerain. You're not fit to rule others. That's why you were placed here. Now, where's Theba? I'll show you, dear Juliandra. Good 
good to see you again. Mr. Secretary. You know, you two gave me quite a scare. For a while, we weren't too happy ourselves. The Nizam of Regalio talked friendly enough, but he didn't act that way. How did you manage to escape? Juliandra helped. She put the Nizam nicely to sleep. And when the guards brought Biff to our cell, we uh, got lucky and put them out of action. Of course, Rocky's good right fist had a lot more to do with it than luck. Thank you, Professor. We learned during our short stay on Regalio that planet Earth and perhaps the entire solar system is in grave danger. Were you able to verify the existence of magnetic power? Yes, they have it, and good. Is there any way to counteract, to neutralize this power? None that we have knowledge of. What can we do? We have two weeks to act, is that true? That's true. I started to explore the problem, but I must work at it every moment. I'll send for our best scientists to assist you. I'll need help. Time is the vital factor. The Herculon laboratories have been made available, Mr. Secretary. While Professor Mayberry works there, he can give you all the details. That's excellent. We can decide which scientist will be most likely to give us the necessary help. the Nizam of Regalio. Come in, Regalio. The suzerain of Herculon is calling. Greetings, Juliandra. You played me an unworthy trick. Are you sure you were not trying a trick of your own, my Nizam? I suppose I was. You won? Are you calling to gloat over your triumph? No. I wish to make amends. You can scarcely expect me to believe that, even from one so beautiful. Suppose I prove myself. That I should like to hear. I have reason to hate the Earth people just as much as my father did before me. Now there was a man, your father, Barbaro. You were willing to make an alliance with him. Why not with his daughter? A question well put. But I have no proof that you'll do it honestly. I'll bring proof. You're visiting Regalio again? Yes. And I'll return to you the Earthman, Rocky Jones. And his companion, the scientist. We want him too. The scientist too. Then, Juliandra, return those two and I promise you a warm welcome in Regalio. You may expect me, my nice am. Until then, my greeting. Strike on. This is your suzerain. Report to me at once. Hear these orders carefully. Yes, Juliandra. Take a message to Rocky Jones that I wish to see him. He will be here at once, Juliandra. No. Take him instead to the cargo section of my spaceship. He is to be locked up there. Rocky Jones, our friend? I don't understand, Juliandra. You do not have to understand. Follow my orders. Yes, Suzerain. Remain here. Next, you will call Professor Mayberry and lock him up with Rocky Jones. Then find Biff and Cardoza and send him to me. Now you may go. Rikon ordered me to see you, Juliandra. I want you to pilot my spaceship for me, Biffin. Oh, wonderful. Where to this time? To Regalio. Again? Or do you think that's safe, my suzerain? The Nizam will welcome me. And this time you too will be safe. I don't get it, but... But what your suzerain says is always right. Right. Is Rocky going with us? Rocky Jones is busy elsewhere. That's too bad I'll miss him. No, I'm sure you will. Prepare the ship. We leave at once. Suzerain, 
Yes, Bissom? Sister Anne, you gave your ring to Bobby. He showed it to me. Yes? But you're wearing it. Well? You're not Juliandra, you're Noviandra. You can never be absolutely sure, can you, Bissom? Where can the ship be going? We're apparently being taken for a space ride. You warned Secretary Drake not to trust the people of Herculon? Yes, it's hard to believe. Except that here we are, locked in the cargo section of a spaceship. Going where? We'll find out, Professor, when we get there. In the meantime, any hope of saving planet Earth from the magnetic force of Regalia is going fast. Well, we have one thing left. Hope. Let's not lose that or we've lost everything. You're right, Rocky. We'll cling to that. and Professor Mayberry just seem to have vanished. Can't Rykon find out something about them? He's had the whole area searched a dozen times, and there's no sign of them. Why hasn't Juliandra contacted you? I can't account for it, Vina. Maybe something's happened to her. So many things can't be explained. We'll have to go on searching. I'm going to see if this magic ring is any good. The way Juliandra said. I'll talk with Rykon and see if he's learned anything new. didn't you, Bobby? And just in time. It was your magic ring, Juliandra. I saw you enter the spaceship and blast off. And the ship hasn't returned. The one you saw was my sister, my twin. And she left you here, perhaps to die? Well, she knew no one would dare come to this part of the palace. It's forbidden to everyone except Theba. Why would she do anything like that, Juliandra? That's too long a story to tell now. No, Briandra is like our father, cruel and despotic. She wants to rule Herculon. I couldn't let this happen. That's why she was kept here. You said, she said she was flying to Regalio. She took Biff to pilot the spaceship. Evil will come of it. Everything she does brings evil. It already has. Rocky and Professor Mayberry haven't been seen since she left Herculon. I know Noviandra. It's possible they were on the spaceship with her. Then they've been taken back to Regalio. How can we help him, Mr. Secretary? How, Bobby? How can we do it? I feel like making jokes, Professor, but uh, this is where we came in. I still can't make myself believe Juliandra's treachery. Nevertheless, here we are. And every hour, the destruction of Earth comes closer. Well, we still have time for a miracle. Even a small miracle. Doubt if we'll find it here. We'll have to think of a way out and search for the miracle. We couldn't blast open that door, Rocky. It's controlled by their magnetic force. Yes, and I guess that's pretty potent. But we'll have to find a way out. I wonder what treachery Juliandra's up to right now. You continue to astound me, Juliandra. What is troubling you now, my nice Anne? Why should you take interest in such things as this? What can our magnetorium mean to you? I am intrigued by a robot. Why must you keep it locked up in there? If it were allowed to roam loose, it has the power to destroy us all. Well, you created the thing. Didn't you think of a way to destroy it? Well, we control it by keeping it locked up in there. 
But even a robot reaches the time when it wants its freedom. Not while it has all that power to work with. Without all that power it operates for you, you would be nothing, would you, my nice Anne? But I do have it, and it makes me all powerful. ceremony again. The one that ended our last unhappy meeting. First, the ceremony. Only this time I'll watch, Juliandra. Do we need to spend time on ceremony? At least tell me what it was. You know. Why do you have to ask me? You don't know, do you? You're not Juliandra. What sort of fraud is this? Who are you? I am suzerain of Herculon. You're not Juliandra. Why did you come to Regalio? You fool! I brought you the Earth men, didn't I? To destroy our magnetorium. That's what Juliandra wanted, only this time I'll win. Tor! Lock her up! You're making a mistake, my nice am. A few moments alone, and you can hear me out. You're a fraud. Lock her up, Tor. Take him, too. Lock the boat. Destroy us. No. I'm going to destroy Rogelio's to do in there. Yeah, go ahead. I'll be all right. We can wreck all this equipment. It'll take more than just destroying these controls to put the magnetic energy out of existence. We'll blow up the whole area. With what, Rocky? Well, the caves we passed look like a storage place for supplies. I might find something there. I want to study this equipment, Rocky, till you get back. Fine. Look after Biff.
was trying to reach her spaceship, but we were guarding it. Where was Tor? There was no sign of him. What happened to him? Destroy it! Destroy it! Juliandra and take her with us. He's dead, Rocky. And she isn't Juliandra. What? We better get out of here. to bring in Herculon on Visiograph. We'll try. Rocky Jones in flight to planet Herculon. Come in, Herculon. Rocky, I never heard a more welcome signal. I kept saying you'd do it, Rocky. Good boy, Bobby. You see, Juliandra is safe, Rocky. You'll hear the whole truth when you arrive, Rocky. Biffin, is no Viandra no longer alive? No, my suzerain. She tried to destroy all of us and destroyed herself. Rocky, Professor, have you learned what we can do against the magnetic force? It's already been done, Mr. Secretary. The source of the power has been wiped out. Earth is out of danger. I'll transmit the wonderful news at once. And hurry, Rocky. I miss you and Biff. Okay, Bobby. I'll see you soon. We'll contact you when we reach Herculon's atmosphere. Out. Well, this is one time I'll be glad to get back to Earth. You can repeat that for me, Rocky. next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger. Space Ranger.